completed bachelor's in physiotherapy master's in physiotherapy and now you have determined that you want to continue working in india you want to open your own setup your own clinic but little confused at how to proceed with it what all requirements will be there how much investment will be there how you can have a successful clinical setup in your place don't worry about it i am there me physio prem shah is going to give you all the information about the same in this video so the very first point that you should focus on is to know your patient population and area of that particular population now why is it so much important because let's just say for an example you are selecting an area which consists of more of elderly age group okay and less of younger age group now there is an advantage for you because as a physiotherapist you require people who are going to be your potential patients and we know that in geriatric population most of them might have uh, problems related to orthopedic conditions problem related to uh, neurological conditions or cardio respiratory conditions all these conditions are possible in this particular age group so that is why you should open your clinic in such area you have to find out you have to do a survey that which area is better for particular this thing plus okay now you are interested only in sports related injuries then you should focus more on the places or population or area where there are maximum number of young generations or young people or you should open your clinic in an area where most of the sports club or sports areas are already placed there so because of that what will happen that as you are a sports physio you have specialty in sports injuries will have more chances to get more number of patients in that area and that is why my dear friends it is very important that before opening a clinic or set up anywhere you first should do a survey about that particular area and its patients population moving on to next point number 2 which is connect with your patients now i know that the point one which i told you it is like pretty much clear everybody will do their survey before opening a clinic but does everybody have maximum number of patients in their clinic we have seen clinics which have footfall of 20 to 30 patients in a day we have seen a clinic in same area which have only 5 patients in a day and we also have seen clinic in which 100 patients are also there in one day right or wrong yes so what is the difference in this three so difference here is that creating a value for the patient basically patient is coming to you because they know that they are going to get value for their time as well as for the money so that is why it is very much important that you connect well with your patient you basically have to listen to your patient you basically have to address to your patients problem on point and try to help them in maximum way irrespective of thinking about only money my dear friends starting of your career when you're thinking only about money and don't care about the patient i am telling you nobody can be successful this way so always think of connecting in a better way with your patient because patients are our real assets if you are treating a patient well then that one patient is going to bring you 100 or 1000 patients more with mouth to mouth publicity so that is why the second point again is very much important that you have to connect well with your patients okay so now we have a place we have a patient population we have learned how to connect with the patient now we require the third point which is very much important is we require a good team now team doesn't have to be like team of 15 people 20 people 30 people i understand that when you are starting your own clinic it might be only two people or three people but those two or three people also have to be well connected with each, with each other it can be team of uh, two physios or it can be team of a physio and assistant or somebody who is in accounts or somebody who is in financial sector now why it is so much important because when you are opening a clinic it is not only about the patients but it is also about how you are managing it so to manage it basically we have to keep it open from particular time to time for that there has to be coordination between two physios or three physios who are working together because at same time if all the physios are going out of the clinic who is going to be there in the clinic that is a very minor thing that you should think about before starting your setup another thing is 
what are instruments you are going to bring how much it is going to cost you plus how you are going to recover the amount which you have invested how much time it is going to get to recover those amount everything you have to plan it before starting the clinic most of the time most of the physios make this mistake that they open a startup they start up your clinic and after that they think about recovering the money and to do that to have a coordinated team work is very much important there should be understanding between the team people and then only you can make this work properly there should be commitment of same level from all the members of the team so that is why be very wise when you are selecting your team it is okay even if it is getting delayed to get a perfect team member but if you have a proper team member then only you can continue your business for a longer period of time the fourth and most important point over here again is going to be your investment so most of us are going to take a loan or we are going to take a place on rent and then we are going to continue growing yes so in this case my dear friends we should have a planning of at least one year that in one year how much maximum expenses can be there even if you are not earning this is very much important part here i am not saying that you are not going, not going to earn in one year but let's say if you are not earning in one year will you be able to sustain that business will you be able to sustain that clinic for at least one year that much amount if you have in backup then only you should make choices of opening your own setup now this may sound like a depressing or odd but mark my words it is going to be very helpful for you because if you have a backup you will be able to focus more on your business footfall of the patient and patient quality fifth and the last thing which is very important to open your startup is work on your interest update your knowledge it is not like that uh, you open your clinic you start treating the patient and you continue treating your patient the same way you started treating on the first day why because everybody gets tired even you will get tired of doing the same thing as well as your patients will get tired of doing the same thing so always have habit of creating something new thinking something new like bringing something new for the patients and yourself so that you are updated in the field as well as you like what you are doing basically because if you like what you do you will be able to excel in your career and you will have a great startup for your clinic so my dear friends in conclusion i would like to say that before starting your own setup have a vision of at least next 2 years okay may it be your investment may it be your uh, specialties may it be your patients may it be your location anywhere okay don't just rush into it and after that take wrong decisions and after that i don't want that you have to shut down your clinic in one year one and half year then look for another place again you take that much amount of time and again start up your clinic no we don't want that before starting you take how much other time you want to take and one more advice will be that don't directly jump jump into opening your own clinic after bachelor's or masters have some patience and take some experience in the field with other clinical therapists who already have opened that startups or clinics learn from them that how they are managing in that particular area with the patients as well as other things because in physiotherapy we have learned everything about physiotherapy we know everything about physiotherapy we are specialized in physiotherapy but when you open your own clinic you have to know about the finances you have to know about the management as well as you have to know about the marketing yourself 